we can all agree that Youth Academy is a ton of fun on career mode, but today we are creating Free FC. This club has just been created, has played through one season, came in 22nd place. It absolutely sucks. And for that reason, we need to get to work in season number two. We are only allowed to bring in free agents who are just five ratings above at max of what we already have in the team. My highest rated player right now is Harrison, 65 rated. The highest rating I can bring into the team at the moment is 70. That way we're going to ensure that we're just not going to be making a jump from 70 to 88 rated players and we have proper progress in here. That is the one and only rule we're going to be following. And the second rule I would say is to have a ton of fun destroying teams with these free agents. Let me know in the comments down below as we get into this. If you look for free agents, do you try and go for specific countries, specific continents, or do you just go all across the board? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and actually, do you go for real life players that have become free agents or the regents? I'm more the regents type of guy, but I'll try and go for both. So let's get started with the scouting. I always go into free agents. I go for 16 up to 23 years old, and that way I look for players. Now, initially, I want to start off with a goalkeeper. And as I said, it needs to be someone that just fits in. So this Adrian guy, six foot five tall, 23 years old. I wonder what his rating is. So I go ahead and use my cheat engine and I find out that he's actually 65 rated. Now, let me double check. Is he eligible for this team? Yes, we have a 62 rated goalkeeper named Hood. Adrian, I'm going to buy you, pal. And that's how I go ahead and find these players for the free agents. And guys, if you want to do the same, trust me, man. Next year, if you do get yourself FIFA or FC, whatever, go and get it on PC. Trust me, it is a thousand times better than playing it on console if there's one thing i can tell you guys about if you are a main career mode player not ultimate team get this game on pc and get mods on it i personally use aranaktu's life editor and cheat engine that's all it is. I actually found an even better goalkeeper. 67 rated Turkish 19 year old. It is Dilman walking through the door. And as Denis Dilman is joining us, Manchester United have just lost 4 0 to Bournemouth at home. Surely that has to be the end of Ten Hag. Let me know what you guys think. Because obviously, yes, I have heard, I have seen, he has been selected manager of the month. But selected manager of the month for winning against Luton Town, Everton, but losing against Newcastle. I, I don't I don't get it. Anyways, here he is. That is a plus five upgrade. And I was just thinking, but you don't hurt yourself. Am I allowed to go ahead and build up the entire team in just one season and fill it with free agents? I'm saying I can only do one part of the team at a time. OK, so this season I'm going to focus on defense. Next season, we get ourselves midfielders season after it's attackers or at least we can unlock it that way okay so first season we unlock defense i can buy as many as i want to second season i unlock the midfield but i also can still upgrade in defense and then the attack that is how it's gonna go this is gonna be fun i actually just realized that on the goalkeeper i was going plus five on the goalkeeper's rating that's wrong we're just going plus five on the 65 which is the highest rating of the club and this guy is a new right back coming in, Bruno Ruiz. Uh, he is now joining Free FC. I love the fact that our badge has an F in it, but let's bring him in into that right back position. It's a massive upgrade, 69 rated. That's a plus four on Harrison's high rating. And I obviously need to keep some of these lads growing. So Harrison being 24 years old, I actually need to focus on him keeping on growing in his rating. That'd be lovely. But then again, now that we have Ruiz in here, ooh, actually... There's another dilemma. I have a 69 rated player now. Does that mean I can bring in a 74 rated player? I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm, I think whatever we start off with at the start of the season, from that point on, we go plus five. So Harrison was a 65, plus five, 70. That means Ruiz still falls under that. I think that's better. I got to tell you, I love this because where else can you bring in a Georgian center back to play alongside a Ivory Coast or an Ivory Coast center back? Andrea Iashvili is coming in right here into our team. He is going to be my right center back. He comes in with a rating of 68. And Dumbia is the other one that I just signed before him. Two center backs have walked in, both below 70. So it all counts. Dumbia is a red-haired Ivory Coast 
giant, which I love. Yashvili comes in with the nation of Georgia. Makes a very interesting one to bring in because obviously <laughs> he is part of uh, Kvarashkelia's nation, who have a bunch of very talented players, by the way. And one thing I just realized is, let's go ahead and give ourselves another rule. <laughs> yes, so many freaking rules. Let's go ahead and have one player from each nation. The, the nations, you, you are not allowed to bring in two players from the na same nation. So we have Turkey, we have Ecuador, we have Georgia, we have Ivory Coast. Onto the left back. Let's shake hands with the last one to walk in. It is a left back from Argentina. His name is Zapata. Now, obviously, we are bringing in players from certain nations. And with Zapata being Argentinian, I know for a fact that we can have some insanely high rated free agents from Argentina later on. Which then opposes the question, if I want to bring in a second Argentinian into the team, I have to get rid of the first one. So that's something to keep in mind as well. If I do find someone insane that is Argentinian, Zapata might be in danger or anyone else that we have brought in for that. And uh, he comes in into that left back position with the rating of 67. Yes, that's he has no play styles, power header on Dumbia, nothing on Yashvili. Ruiz has block and our goalkeeper has nothing to, but it's okay. Zapata, 70 pace, really well-rounded, could easily play in a different position too. I think he could actually play CDM with those stats. But hey, very happy with that signing. Hopefully this defense holds up and we do better than this team has done in the first season where they came in 22nd, I believe. Gotta tell you, it wasn't easy. The defense has stepped up and I have got myself the best coaches for defending and goalkeeping and everything, basically. And this team ain't growing in the other positions. You can take a look at the midfield and the attack and it ain't good. It really isn't. But hopefully... We can do much better next season. Now, defensively, we are looking great at the end of the season. 71, 73, 71, 73, 72. And hopefully, maybe by the time the next season begins, one of these grows to a 74, which helps us get seven, up to 79 rated players into our team for that midfield, which would make such a difference. But right now, the first season has ended. Free FC has only come in in 10th position in League 2. But my gut tells me that we're just going to run through teams in the upcoming season. We're going to destroy everyone. And we were only like three points away from guaranteed promotion, which is actually painful to see. But at the end of the day, that midfield and attack has let us down. Let's take a look at the goal scorers. Vera, 15 and 1. Well done. The man from Zimbabwe. Bailey with 13 and 8. And then, yeah. It's all right, but it ain't great. And there we go. As we go into the new season, 74 is the highest rating we have. It doesn't actually mean, though, and that I'm going to go ahead and get myself 79 rated players. I mean, we are still in EFL League 2. It just f would feel really odd. But at the end of the day, the concept is just to go after free agents. I could technically bring in higher rated players, but I don't want to. I have found two center midfielders, and one of them has... The best hair, first of all, of course, I pay attention to that. And second of all, he's French and his name is Petit. And with that, he obviously has to come in. As you guys know, Petit used to have long blonde hair. This man has long blonde hair. It is Hugo Petit. Now joining us into that left center midfield position, 70 rated. He comes in with and has some really well-balanced stats and some even better dribbling. Could easily play in a more advanced role, but for us, he's going to be playing in that center midfield spot. And then I also found Hart Harris, who I signed. 68 rated, and most importantly, the guy has a face scan in the game. So for that reason, Part Harris, you are also part of this team. Aha, pun intended. I feel sick. Well, my friends, I've found the right midfielder for this team. Now, you might not recognize him yet, but this guy is actually an amazing player. And his name is Moses Uzor, who was supposed to be the replacement of... Ah, uh, what's his name? Nakamura, I think his name was, that used to play at uh, Sturm as well in, in, um, in Austria. And now... He is the man on the wings for them. He is now, though, the man on the wings for us. He comes in at a 73 rating. Again, I'm not going above the ratings of the players that we already have at the moment for this season. 73 rated from Nigeria. Left footed, can cut inside. Lots of pace on him. And obviously, Part Harris is English. Uh, Petit is French. And that man is Nigerian. So we are keeping the rule of one nation per position. Left midfield. What's that going to be then? In walks a man that is five foot five and from Italy, which 
automatically makes me think he is the regen of Insigne. Yeah, he is the man walking into our club right now for that left midfield spot. And I do believe that he's going to be great. Vincenzo Longo. Now, you are not long at all, buddy. You are short as hell. But he comes in and takes over that left midfield spot. And he has 78 pace, 72 dribbling, left footed, quick step, Trivella. Ooh, that could be very exciting down the line. Now, this position is not midfield. As you can see in the formations, it's center forward and striker. So we are done with transfers for the season. And hopefully this is enough to get us into the next uh, division because Bailey ain't looking too great. Vera has done well last season, could still grow. So hopefully things work out. Good luck to me. This is turning out to be the best example of you need a strong defense, decent midfield, attack doesn't matter because our team right here is looking extremely strong in defense and midfield. But by the end of this season, Bailey and Vera are way too low rated. But guys, we have promotion. Yes, League 2 no more. 79 points for free FC. Wrexham is going up alongside us. And a couple of others will have to fight for promotion in the playoffs. But do we care? Nope. And uh, let me take a look into this right here. 16 goals from Longo, 9 assists. My man has done more than the lads in the attacking positions. That is exactly what I want to see from players like him. Vincenzo Longo, 5'5 five five Italian beast for me. And then we have Petit. The midfielder has 11 and 8. Very impressive, but I got to tell you, man. I am ready to bring in ridiculous free agents for center forward and striker. And we all know, center forward sometimes, it's broken. The insane ones you get here are already like 86 plus rated sometimes, which we can't get to because the highest rating here is Usor, 77 plus 5, that's 82. That's our max for the next season. I'm okay with that. Another 5'5 five five beast is joining us, guys. Yes, they just keep tracking me down. <laughs> it, is, it is someone that plays in the center forward position, and he's German. It is Dominic Richter, now joining Free FC for zero pounds. And that is a huge signing because Bailey is getting upgraded by 12. Now, it isn't a super high rated player, right? That's okay. He comes in with quick step. That's fine for me. We now need to sort out this Vera position. All good. And uh, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to seeing who the striker is going to be. Because 73, it's good. Don't get me wrong. But I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. But there was no one to get. Since we are approaching Christmas, I thought this one made a lot of sense. We are bringing in a player whose name is Noel. And as you guys know, in French, Noel kind of stands for the Christmas period, if I'm not mistaken. And the English have actually taken that word into their dictionary as well. I've actually looked it up and it's in the Oxford Dictionary. So this man is coming in right now. Noel, welcome into the team. In the background, there is snow. I guess EA added that in. I didn't realize that was a thing. I don't know if you guys have that too. Please let me know if you have that too. Or is my game broken? Excellent deal. Of course. Now, he is the only Spanish player to walk into the team. 73 rated, 79 pace, 73 shooting, 71 dribbling, 4 star, 4 star, technical player, high attacking work rate, 6 foot tall. Why have I never heard of this guy before? He looks amazing. He really does. So, now we have a Spanish striker. A German center forward. We have an Italian left mid. A French center midfielder next to an Englishman in part Harris. We have Usor coming in with the Nigerian heritage. We have Ruiz from Ecuador. Iashvili still from Georgia. Dumbia, Ivory Coast. Zapata from Argentina. And Dilman from Turkey. Now that I have this starting 11 though... That doesn't mean I'm going to keep it exactly like that. My friends, I am signing another center mid because the Englishman is just not doing too well in terms of his rating and he's not necessarily growing. A face scan is not going to save you. It is Danny Simon walking into the club right now. This man is higher rated, way higher rated. Take a look at it. Comes in. Ooh, 76? No, 75, which is a plus four upgrade. Now let's see what this team can do. We are crushing it. Lads, free FC first. 
84 points, doing extremely well in contrary to Eric Ten Hag. <laughs> Sorry, I had, to, I had to put that in there. But uh, guys, I'm very happy with what this team has achieved this season. Our highest rated player is our goalkeeper, Dealman, my guy, left footed, six foot six tall goalkeeper. Oh my God. Uh, but we have Noel up to a 78, Richter up to a 76. In midfield, Usor and Simon. This is the guy that I brought in, by the way. He is uh, from Netherlands to replace Pat Harris, where I realized he wasn't growing anymore. So he's going to be a backup for now. And defensively, we are looking solid. But I do see some positions that I'm completely open to update with higher rated players. As we get into the championship, I'm just thinking, hey, if I can find some really high rated free agents, they're coming in. So knowing that everyone is at danger, my friends. And obviously, it needs to be someone that is from a nation that fits in. But Longo, again, from left midfield, 18 and 7. This guy is so good. Noel, 18 and 3. Usor, 17 and 11. My guy. Vista with 16 and 6 as well. Hey, the front four, if we consider the left mid and right midfield, along with the attackers, amazing stuff, guys championship footy with the free agents just came back from a nice dinner and i see three fc second in the championship with 107 points and brighton go up alongside us now as i said before not every single player is going to be here forever i actually looked for replacements that would have been higher rated there was no one so we'll have to wait until the next transfer window which will be in the premier league because we are promoted baby so let's see the team Noel, 81, Christmas is close. Richter on a 79. Surely I can find a center forward that is 89 rated anytime soon. Longo on an 80. Petit, Simon, good midfield. Simon, much higher rated. Moses Usor on an 83. Very, very good stats there. Ruiz looks solid. Defense overall looks great, apart from Zapata maybe. But then Dilman, our goalkeeper, is insane. He is truly incredible right now as we speak. So... I'm very happy with his performances in this club. And of course, I'm happy with Richter getting ooh, 45 goal contributions in 52 games. I mean, I was kind of thinking of replacing you, pal, but that is an insane performance. Longo, 21 and 9, as always in the top three. And Usor, 17 and 15. And others have stepped in too, but our striker, 15 and 6. Noel, I'm telling you right now, if I can find a better striker, I'll get rid of your pal. I'm finding some incredible free agents like Gustavo Rivera, Hadri or Hadrian, whatever, Antoine, and Villalba. All these guys are very high rated and could make it into our starting 11. But Spanish, French, Spanish. None of these guys can make it into our team. I'm stuck. So where do we reckon Free FC landed in the first Premier League season? Well, spot down in the middle, guys. 49 points. I gotta say, though, halfway through the season, we're actually higher up. So we actually drop down. We see teams like Brighton fighting against relegation. Not fighting. They are getting relegated. Oh, my God, dude. That's insane. Brighton and Everton are going down as we are 10th. Chelsea 8th. Arsenal, Spurs, City, United and Liverpool. Hopefully that's a sign of what's to come in real life. Go on then, Kloppo. Uh, but guys, that is amazing. I'm happy with that because I kind of expected us... A little bit lower, but in the end, we see an incredible team of free agents who look great. And at this point, it's going to be very tough for any free agent on the market to come in and take over a position. I've been looking for them, but the biggest problem has turned out to be the nationality. It really has been, as you saw earlier on, and it's tough. But I will try and find some for sure. Noel, this time around, best player, 20 goals, 2 assists. Good, well done. Vista, 20 goal contributions. Uzor, 21. And then you can see there's a massive drop off. So the front three or three of the attacking players have done really well, while the rest clearly struggled. So that means they need to step up their goddamn game. Let me tell you this. I tried to find new free agents. No one makes it into our team. So I'm just going to stick with what we have and win the Premier League. That is what we have done. Free Agent FC has done it, guys. And this is once again just to let you know we have won the fa cup as well so we are double winners in england as we speak so this is amazing and hopefully this also inspires a lot of you guys out there to do a lot more stuff with free agents because career mode itself can feel very i mean repetitive i guess 
if you just go ahead and buy players all the time from the market and just players that you know or hidden gems and everything the best thing to do is to utilize everything utilize free agents utilize youth academy and get yourselves also some proper real life players and create a very unique team <laughs> sorry that's what i would suggest so right now this team has done extremely well and we have 24 and 7 20 and 10 19 and 4 12 and 5 6 and 10 7 and 8 that is amazing stuff so a lot of players have stepped up their game and in terms of rating obviously they are ridiculously good and this team is going to be playing champions league football our left back is the lowest rated player out of them all but hopefully we can go ahead and smash it next season team strategy everything is fine we are ready for Champions League football, my friends. My friends, the time might have come. We got past Inter and now PSG. 1-1 in the first game. Big win in the second on penalties. Let's go. Our Turkish goalkeeper must have saved us there. Up against AC Milan in the final. FFC is going through. 3-2 in the end. They nearly made a comeback, but we shut it down. And again, another FA Cup final to play through as we are going to be coming up against Bayern Munich in the final. Now, uh, this one hurts because today Bayern Munich lost 5-1 to Eintracht. And I just want Tuchel gone. I need him gone. Thomas Tuchel is not the right coach for Bayern Munich, bro. He is so bad. I, uh, I don't even want to get into it. If you guys have any thoughts about Thomas Tuchel, let me know as we smash Chelsea 4-3 in the final. Not really a smashing, quite a, a difficult game, but Bayern Munich in the final there. So we have won a trophy with the FA Cup. We have come second behind City with just one point. That's a bit annoying. FA Community Shield, we lost that too. Cool. Carabao Cup, we won that. Okay, so we have two cups, two domestic cups, and now we could be winning the international one with the Champions League. Now, the team that has done it is looking like this, my friends. It is looking incredible. I cannot wait to use this team filled with free agents. Some of them real players, some of them not real, just regens. And yes, we are going to be diving in. How many do we have that are actually real? Dilman, Usor, and Noel, right? That's just three. So we have three real ones, and then the rest is all regens. And I like that. I really like the mix that we have going on here. Everyone five-star skills. Oh, yes, this is going to be fun. Lads, I have bought zero players for the bench. You know it. I always do that. I don't know what it is, but here we go. 49 and 7. Noel. He's on fire, bro. Rista with 34 and 15. Longo 19 and 10. Simon 10 and 5. Usor 7 and 9. Whew. All right, then, Bayern. Show me what you got. Who do you have in your team? They have Joao Felix, Musiala, Ansu Fati. Wow. Correa, Neves. What? Where did you come from? Wagner, Kretzik, Keita, Hilgers, Wilson, Hasler. Midfield and defense looks interesting, to say the least. But hey. Good luck, Bayern Munich, because I'm coming in to beat you. Maybe not 5-1, but I'm trying. After having made all that fun about Manchester United in today's episode, which, by the way, is just lighthearted, at the end of the day, we are up against Bayern Munich in the Manchester United home ground. Yes, we are at Old Trafford. Switch. Lovely. Into Pity. Pity. There he is, the man with the nice blonde hair. Sees his teammate at the far post. Can you believe it? Pity straight away across to Noel. It is very soon Christmas, but for us, it came early. The man scores beautifully. What a cross from Pity. I didn't know a centre midfielder had that in him, but hey, Noel gives it his all with that diving header, doesn't he? Free agents about to win us the Champions League trophy. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? We're putting pressure on. Oh, it's not good pressure, it seems. Dumbia. Come on, Pity. Lads, get in there. There we go. Good defense in the end. Joao Felix tries his best, but it's not enough, pal. No. Ooh, big save from the Turkish goalkeeper. We love to see it. Zapata. Sprinted up. Sees the run of Longo. Five foot five. But the man has big strides. Look at him going. In the middle again. Oh, what? That was not what I wanted to try and do. I was looking for the striker, pal. That's mine, isn't it? Yes, it is. Noel having a bit of fun. 
Noel. Down to Usor. Usor. Going ahead. Finding the lads. Down the wing. Pity. Again, Pity it is. He's trying to dribble past people and he does exactly that. Riff. I mean, come on. There are some moments in this game where advantages are played for like five minutes, what it feels like. And I get like barely one and a half seconds. That would have been a great free kick to take. Come on. Come on, Yashvili. Yashvili and Ruiz defending well. Bayern trying to find some little string of passing play. But so far, we have avoided that from happening. Until now, it's Kretzik, I assume. Oh my god, I'm doing all the wrong things right now. Musiala, beautiful. Okay. I mean, that was horrible defending. I only have myself to blame, and I'll do that. Pity, there's so much pressure on Bayern Munich right now, but they are not falling victim to it. Up until this moment, Usor sees Richter make a beautiful run. Richter! Oh, mate, come on. Someone's got to score here. Ruiz, good win. No, 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 don't lose it like that, Ruiz. Pace, pace. Lumbia, you stay where you are. There we go. Good work. Switch it up. Get it across to Richter. Here goes Noel. There is Longo. Come on, Longo. You see Usor at the far post, don't you? Oh, that's a beautiful cross. Into Richter. Here comes Pity. Ah. Oh. Recovering the passing lanes. Dumbia. Longo getting involved. Lovely work. On to the attack. Here goes Richter. Ref, let me run through and score. Extra time it is. Nice. Good play. There goes Richter. I see it. Richter. Oh, come on, son. Nice dribbling needed. And he has all of it. Lovely football. Oh, look at this. Pity. Nah, you're kidding. This keeper is a joke, man. No. 120th minute. Dumbia, please. No. Yashvili. Keeper saves it. Oh my god. We're going into penalties. Our keeper has saved our lives right there. Unless they've scored from this corner, we are going to penalties. And they might actually score here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go insane. Oh, thank you. Come on, deal man. Come on, deal man. Oh, what a pen. I could have never saved that. Noel, top right. Get in there. Ah, oh, more perfection is impossible. Korea, bottom left. Nope, goes top right. Complete opposite. Simon, bottom right, buddy. Bottom right, we'll take it. To the right. Ah, I knew it. I went left and then I knew he would go right for some reason. Ishta, you're a beast, pal. You're a beast, pal. Three and three. Neves. Neves, it's saved. It's Dilman. Now it's Longo, the Italian. Of course he saves it. You gotta be kidding. Right? Right? Ah! This is it. If I don't score, we're out of it. Pity, you've been so good to me, man. So freaking good. Come on, buddy. Yes! I'll take that. To the left. Hilgers. A center back. He can't score. Surely not! And now, it is Moses Usor. If he scores this... We win it all. Of course he saves it. Bro, what the hell am I looking at? Down the middle. I felt it. I knew it. I didn't do it. Ruiz. Come on. No. Bayern Munich have won the Champions League trophy. I can't believe it, man. Free, a Free Agents FC, the project has failed in the end in terms of Champions League football. We did, however, get the Premier League title, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, but we just couldn't win the biggest one of them all. A penalty shootout. It came down to luck, and sadly, it didn't work out. Guys, I'm sorry. But sometimes I lose Champions League finals, and that's how it goes. I'll catch you on the next one. At least Bayern have something to celebrate in-game. Take care and peace.